Looking to carve you apart, we said earlier at half time. United's players get drawn to the ball. Unfortunately, Pedro just finds that bit of space and Vidic's not able to get there and Everett probably too far out, Harry, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, he tucked in. It was a you know, a little bit of a almost a misunderstanding between the two who was gonna tuck in, who was gonna pull wide, but a good finish, he just stroked in the back of the net and um, at that stage I thought they would go on and maybe score another two or three goals and win very easily. But there's very few teams in the world, given the state of the game at that moment, Roy, who would come back into it, and that was Man United. They found a way back. Yeah, of course. They'll be delighted with the responded. Um, but again, it was just they didn't have that in the second half. The big player, something you're in the game to try and affect it. They didn't have that. But the response from Wayne tonight, obviously with that goal, fantastic goal, good movement, bit of luck with Giggs's touch here. But what a great finish. But that was the, the highlight of United's night, I'm afraid. It didn't actually change the flow of the game, did it? Marcelo just carried on the blind. Well, really you, you wondered, I mean, it looks as if he was just offside there, uh, Hernandez, when it's played through. It was a brilliant goal. And you, you did wonder, would that upset Barcelona's rhythm? But the fact is, you know, that they've got so much belief in themselves, they just keep passing the ball and keep yeah, doing the same. Yeah, they never play. change the way they play. You know, as I said earlier, if they, if they were losing with 10 minutes to go, they wouldn't suddenly start lumping it in the box. They'd continue to play. I mean, if you played that way... To be fair, the English, whether we could accept that here, if we're losing and 10 minutes to go and we keep playing and moving the ball around and putting passes together, people want you to get it in the box and have a, you know, put a bit of pressure on teams. They don't do that. They'll just play and play away and, and open open teams up by their football. And rather desperately, we kept repeating the fact that Messi had never scored in England, and but then he did. Mm, yeah, he did. And, and uh, again, you're talking during the game, do you stand off him and allow him a bit of space to, to go into midfield and get the ball? This is the danger if you do, because whatever you might say about the goalkeeper, he's got too much time to, to get the shot away. And you just see as he hits it, Edwin van der Sar's weight just going the other way. He, he hits it quite early, and it means he's just got too much ground to cover going the other side. But he was brilliant, Messi. As we said, you know, during the game, it, it, I don't think you expect him to shoot from there. He normally gets it and he'll go and play a little one-two or dri have, a, have a dribble, but it's... He's hit it early and he's, he's caught the keeper. But there's some front three. Pedro, Villa and Messi between them have managed 98 goals this season. So it's not, not a bad return, is it? Um, and we can see, uh, we can see Villa get on, the, uh, get on the score sheet as well with some finish and Messi absolutely central to him. Yeah. Well, Messi started it again wide, Roy, didn't he? It was a fantastic piece of skill on the side. And then you thought United had won it back, had the chance to clear it. Bounced off Nani, I think. Absolute top draw finish. Well, the three attacking players tonight all scored a goal in a big match from. And the boy Villa has not been scoring that many goals of late. But come the big night, United yeah, will be disappointed with this. Definitely. I know we talk about clearing your lines, but credit to Barcelona, the, the pressure they put on them. You can't relax, you can't relax with them, and it's a hell of a finish. That first bit of skill from Messi, I mean, what a dribble, what amazing. And that finish there, top class. And in actual fact, they're, you know, I was writing it down during the half, the chances they had. Guardiola just, he must be so pleased that when you put a team like that together, they go and perform at their very best on the biggest stage. And, and they could have won more comfortably, but because of their quality rather than the inadequacies of United.